Hi, welcome back. Uh, in the previous video, we just finished till uh, the testing of uh, sending email from Red Hat and the configuration of Postfix. So now what we need to do, we need to go to Zabbix console. Let's uh, do it alongside and uh, go to administration media type, select email. Okay, so let's go to this uh, administrator click on media types click on email other things you can disable and click on email now you need to provide two entries one is uh, this where is your smtp server so we installed postfix on on our uh, same server where we have zabbix so that's why i am giving localhost and the port uh, you cannot leave other things uh, as default and click on update after that what you need to do you need to click on this test button okay i'm clicking on test button and uh, i can type it uh, email address here for example yeah this one and uh, you can change subject uh, like test subject uh, uh, right now maybe something let's click on test and say it is saying media type test successful so what we can do we can go here and check if we have received any email yeah so you have received it uh, this is a test message from Zabbix this was message body and uh, subject we added it and from where it is sending from my IT boys email which I have configured in uh, from Postfix hope uh, this is clear till now okay so cancel it and now move to the next part in these in this slide you can see I have uh, described all of these things and yeah, I told you like you just need to put this IP address and uh, and the port. In the next slide, you will see that uh, this is done. Just click on update. Next, you, we just clicked on test and then we sent an email. So now what is the next step is uh, Zabbix console. Okay, let's go to Zabbix console. Configuration action. Configuration actions okay and uh, enable report problem to zabbix administrator report problems it was it you, you can see it will be disabled first you need to click it on and then you can enable it it's simple just click it's disabled click again it is enabled and now go to administrator users admin okay let's go there administrator users admin and here uh, and then again media okay where is media yeah the second step you can see there is media and uh, click on add and fill details as per the below image so what is the image send to this sorry send to this and this is okay let's see it here so if I click on add and you can see where you want to send the email I want to send it and I search 20 260393 at gmail.com i want to send it to this email now he is uh, it is asking like uh, you want to uh, these are some uh, uh, you can say that categories of alert like disaster high average warning information so i'm just uh, i just want these three so now if uh, there will be some trigger for category average high and disaster then only it will send email that's it so i will add it and see earlier i added the same one but that was for information as well like i need email for information as well for example if you restart uh, zabbix if you restart zabbix agent so that is the information but it will it will show you and do you want email for them as well so yes you can enable it that's it so uh, if you click on edit you can see I have just selected these two extra one that's it so for now I will just remove this one it was just to show you guys and now click on next okay you can choose if you want to mail for high critical alerts then uh, yeah this all have been covered and yeah uh, this was just a test I will show you like uh, I will uh, show you in the demo <clears throat> let's go back here click on this so now what I will do I will uh, show you how to create a web alert and how to get an email for it 
okay so click on configuration host so i have this my it boys host so what is this i'm just running my website so that we can verify here so this is it boys dot in and it is running now okay but yeah it is under process so don't open it <laughs> yeah, okay so okay let's uh, i will show you how i have created so configuration host click on this web okay now you need to create a web scenario so just make it a duplicate create a web scenario give any name here for example abc i'll show you here see i have given it boys you can give abc and then uh, all these things you can leave uh, empty but let me tell you what what these things are update interval is one minute attempts one so what is mean after every one minute it will go and check uh, is it running or not okay you can make it 30 seconds as well you can make it five minutes as well so for and attempts for example uh, it was not working and it uh, tried it so within first attempt it will uh, give you alert if you want it should be two it should be three it should be four like first it will try for three attempts uh, uh, if it's still not working then raise the alert and send the email so for demo i will put it one but for other purpose you should make it two sometimes network issues or something so uh, two attempts should be there and uh, nothing just click on steps and uh, here i have just added this uh, this is just name it boys website and this is a url url you want to monitor so you can just copy this url and paste it here that's it and uh, time out is for example sometime website is too slow too damn slow and you click on it and it keeps reloading 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 then it will just wait for 15 seconds and after that it will say like it is not working and required string so you can copy any string for example i will if i will search it here so you can see it's showing me so if after opening the website it's not getting this text then again it will tell you like this is not working and uh, status code is 200 that you already know like if something is working then status code is 200 that's it and uh, okay so one more thing which is pending here is trigger create trigger give it a name okay select as a high now expression you no need to type you don't need to remember just click on add and in items just select failed f a control f and failed yeah you can see failed step for scenario it boys so click on it and results not equal to zero if it is not equal to zero then yes we want an alert okay that's it and now in recovery ex expressions what you can do just copy this paste it here and make it equal to zero that's it so equal to zero means everything is working fine not equal to zero means there is some problem that's it so now we will add it that's it our trigger is added our email is set up now let's try to uh, cross verify so what i'm going to do i will open my putty for my uh, it boys website so open it and uh, go to super user and i want to stop i stopped my apache server let's see if my website is still running or not reload it so if you can see it is reloading but yeah within few second it is saying not reachable but suppose if it keeps reloading 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 then that comes to the picture that time out 15 seconds we put it right that's it guys uh, so now just uh, go back to your zabbix dashboard and uh, within one minute because we gave the time there as a one minute so within one minute it will uh, okay from from where it will fetch the data let's yeah the alert is there but let me show you how it is fetching data so you can select a host here that is it boys apply and uh, you can filter the name uh, failed something 
okay so see failed step scenario of it boys it is coming one but if you can see the graph earlier it was coming zero so i told you like zero everything okay if coming anything than zero then there is some issue so see and if we go back here see it is saying linux server failed one high one so let's see if we have received any email as well yes see uh, this was for yesterday you can ignore it 10 hours ago you can focus on this one zero minute ago so problem started this problem name it website is down so hope this is clear and uh, when we will uh, when our application is again up for example if i will start it and i will go back to my website and i will check it is it working so yes you can see it is working so this dashboard will take one minute because we have given this so if you want you can change it uh, quickly i can show you a configuration host web scenario it boys and see update interval this is the time which i'm talking about one minute it will take to reflect and uh, if you go to steps and it boys uh, i was talking about uh, the 15 seconds so timeout it is there okay cancel it and go to triggers i will show you like uh, how it is working so earlier you show there was a uh, zero then it meant that means it is no it is okay this is a uh, ex recovery expression so i have started it and my website is also working so let's see <coughs> see now it is one nothing will no alarms check your email probably you have received the resolved as well see resolved yeah that you can again uh, ignore the above email that this one is the latest so this is the email for resolved and uh, if we go back to the monitoring latest data and uh, you can filter your server and filter your alarm name fail step and see last value is zero and change is minus one if you go to graph you can see continuously it was working 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 and it was zero but suddenly there was some issue we stopped that application and it becomes one so anything apart from zero is error so it will give you error and it will send the email as well okay hope everything is clear if you have any doubt you can ping me you can comment me and uh, thank you you can just do to help me just help uh, me to increase my subscribers and share my video thank you have a nice day we'll meet soon bye bye